Hello everybody, um, Mr. Allen here, um, I'm not sure how well this is working, um, let me see here, but, um, I am new to this, so, um, if I'm moving a little bit slow, that is my bad, um, alright, sorry about that, um, alright, so what I'm gonna do, Alright, so this here is the bell work, which is, um, vocab, and then as we get down here, if it'll let me show you, okay, it's not responding, but I'm going to try to give you guys an example, it's just freezing because it's like, Kind of having a rough time here. It's not responding. Try to go back. Because for some reason this computer usually works. But I guess with me recording it's not... Wanting to work properly. Yeah, so jacked up right now. I'm sorry, everybody, for this. Um, the that was the assignment. And basically, I wanted to do like a, um, a, like a, like a, that, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but like, and I gave them great examples of how they could find climaxes and define falling action and rising actions and stuff. Like an example would be the elections, how like there's always conflict, there's always rising action, there's a climax where it's like really heated, then there's like a falling action. And then there is a resolution when things get officially solved. Okay, that is that. Now for my um, ninth graders, my parent, my uh, Mike. I'm not sure. I'm so new to screencast. Um, I've never used it, but I've heard of teachers and I've seen teachers use it. So I figured. So what it's showing here is vocab and then the assignment. The vocab words were commitment, cross-checking, and evaluate. Um, and then I do allow them to use their phones to look up the definitions as long as they're not on any other kind of social media or anything bad or inappropriate. Um, um, the, and if they were going to write two or 12th grade parents, um, this is the vocabulary they had, six vocab words. Contrast, content, subject, fiction, rhyme, and uh, rhythm. And for the advice today is work from today that have. Now this section here is actually, this assignment was and include the following, which were figurative language, a real life event, context clues about the real life event. So this is homework and I am expecting it for my 10th graders to be turned in on Monday. First thing whenever they walk in to start the period. Um, so, yeah. Um, but that's pretty much it for you, for everything that I needed to show um, you, you guys as students and as parents. This was just a reminder that I especially wanted to make clear for my 10th graders since I did assign them homework and the other classes did not get homework. Um, this is actually a good tool that I'll probably be learning as I learn to use more often um, so I can come out and uh, upload this to give you guys extra um, heads up and extra reminders. All right, but we're going to go ahead and end the uh, time here. We're going to end this here because I've shared everything that I needed to. So, yeah, I hope this was enough information. Like I said, if I'm glitchy or if it, like, skips or just does anything that it's not supposed to, this is my first time using this, and I probably won't get any better than what I already am. So just try your best to work with it, and we will please email the school 
My email is beaverstristan9 at yaw, or gmail.com. Um, and yeah. So, bye everybody. See y'all Monday.